Hey guys, this is Dak Man back with another video. All right, guys, it's Monday, and of course that means it's time for another community poll question. But before we get into this community poll, let's go ahead and plug the next poll that should go live tomorrow, somewhere around 10 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. So the poll for this next week is going to be talking about the booster bundles. Uh, and basically, I just want to know if you're even interested in the new styles on these. Uh, you know, in fact, that's just coming from a lot of the comments I got on the two videos I put out regarding booster bundles. And so I just kind of want to see, you know, if you guys are going to buy any of these booster bundles because of uh, these new styles. And so uh, that will be the poll question for this next week. And I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. Moving over here to the poll for this week. Uh, this week's poll was a fairly heavy poll, uh, a little thought to be put into it. But saying here that there are several systems in DCUO that have been left by the wayside and mostly forgotten or dumbed down to the point of feeling super basic, but I wondered which system you would like to see reworked or revived the most. Uh, of course, I only get five options, and so I went with the top four I could think of uh, and then left an other uh, on there for you guys to add in your thoughts on that. So uh, Legends PvE, uh, of course, player versus environment, uh, where we run as the Legends characters, 18% uh, want to see something more done with that, bring it back uh, or rework it in some fashion. Crafting, 10%. I was kind of surprised on that. The crafting in DCUO is super duper basic. It's literally the same thing every episode. You're just recrafting the same items at higher levels. Uh, and so, you know, I thought maybe that would be something interesting to folks. Uh, League Halls, this is the one I'm more uh, in tune with. 18% uh, on that. Basically, League Halls had two episodes uh, revolving around them, and then they just got dumped, and that was it, and they never really went back and revisited. There's never been any updates to the League Halls, and so, yeah, they're just kind of, you know, they were left to the wayside. PvP, uh, no surprise here, 42% uh, went for that. PvP is something that I figured would probably score very highly because there's a lot of people that would love to PvP if it was worth playing, and so there you have it. And other... 11%. So for the other, uh, and a few uh, thoughts on the other ones that we had, let's go to the comments. Syncredible says, if anyone's played Final Fantasy XIV, I have, you would know that you can go into some raids, alerts, and dungeons with NPCs. It would be nice to have that option if you want to do something alone or don't have time to LFG or wait for people to queue up the instance you want to run. Uh, you do. Uh, you can in there. Uh, in Final Fantasy XIV. I do know, though, uh, that the NPCs are not as bright as you would like them to be, although they might be better than a pug group sometimes, just depending. Uh, those NPCs would be any heroes or villains from the game. They could even monetize an NPC pack. Well, now you'll get their attention because you're talking about money. Or purchase them individually. Of course, they would need to add this as an option when queuing. Yeah, I think that would be kind of an interesting idea for some people. If you got some people that are loners too, they would love that. Uh, I do think, though, that might hurt the omnibus queuing. Uh, because some people might feel better about bringing in their own pack of allies that they would just queuing up with random people. Uh, kind of be interesting to see what they end up doing with that. Uh, Humboldt says, revamping and balancing of powers. Each power should have their own unique ability that gives an advantage over others' respectable support role, but at the end of the day, they should be able to uh, contend with each other regardless of content. They wanted to change the supercharged meta, but they weren't fixing anything because they didn't understand fully why the EOG meta was broken. Yeah. Uh, they're still looking at EOG right now. I talked about that uh, just yesterday. But uh, yeah, they should be able to contend with each other. The problem is, and I think that's the reason why balancing's never really worked with the powers, is because some of them work so differently. Uh, some of them take some setup time, while others just come out firing. And so it, it's kind of hard to balance around that. The only thing you can really see whether or not... Uh, powers are holding their own is in the boss fights, but people don't really look at the boss fight damage when they uh, look at the scorecard. They're looking at the overall damage, you know, and they're like, oh, I just nuked everybody. Yeah, but you were like really close to everybody else too, just because your power fires off faster than, you know, everybody else's. Uh, but yeah, that uh, that's kind of the thing. That's the reason why I don't think power balance has ever really worked. Uh, we got very close, very close in controlled environments when we were doing stats revamp. Uh, and then the artifacts came out. That shot it all to pieces. Uh, Linux says, other, combat overall. Hmm, that's quite a bit of an undertaking. The powers need to be reworked from the ground up, and all the animations need to be updated. The rock, paper, scissors format also needs to be dropped completely or retooled into a more traditional form of video game combat. 
Uh, it would improve game play, play across the board. We're talking rock, paper, scissors. We're talking about the lunging, defeating a range, range, defeating a block, block, defeating a lunge type thing. Um, I think those are perfectly fine mechanics to have in, in the right situations. The problem is, I think in a lot of situations, they don't work. Um, I know there's a lot of times in boss fights and stuff like that, I will lunge as a tank. Uh, I will lunge the boss when they're ranging and I can't knock them down. They're just immune to knockdown. And, you know, or they'll lunge at me and I will block. And they're not blinking. Nobody's giving them a, an immunity. They just, you know, it just doesn't work. Uh, and so I think that's something, if you want those rock, paper, scissors, if that's what you're talking about to work, uh, I think they need to be able to tighten that up to where the NPCs actually are affected by that. Uh, Peter Badger says, leagues, league halls, uh, and how we connect with other players need a serious rethink. I agree. Uh, given the fact this game is like an MMO and supposed to be played with other people, it's actually laughable how hard it is to find a league or like-minded people to group up with. Yes, that's the reason my league will never grow uh, from where it's at. Uh, my main character feels like a wandering nomad. She hadn't been in a decent league for over two years now because the only way I'm getting an invite to any league is if somebody randomly sends me an invite as I'm passing them or if I spend literally hours begging for an invite in the LFG chat. Yeah, well, if you're asking in the LFG chat for a league, there's no telling what you're going to end up in. Uh, even then, you probably won't get what you want. I might want a league to run elite stuff with, but I might only get an invite to a fresh league that was started 10 minutes ago and only has five people in it who are all under level 30, or a dead league that's got 100 plus people in it, but only one or two active daily members who are only on for five minutes a day. I'm probably closer to that one. Uh, neither of which uh, would suit what I'm actually looking for. I think it's fair to say that the amount of people still playing this game probably is declining, not increasing, so it would make sense for the devs uh, to implement a way for remaining player base to actually find each other and group up with. This is something I've brought up before as a thought um, that I've had. Basically, Plant Side 2, which is also a Daybreak game, has mentor guilds type things. They're outfits, I think is what they call them. But they have a place where they can kind of put what they're about, what they, you know, what they are uh, what they're about, what they're looking for, and people can go and request to be in that league, and it would be inter or that outfit. It would be interesting if leagues were done somewhat the same way. What if they had a league tab for people that are recruiting? You could, you know, the league leader could turn on that they are recruiting, and they could say, "Okay, we're looking for people 30 to 40 years old that play between these hours." Uh, you know, we're casual, we're, you know, elite content, we're event content, uh, we PVP, we do whatever. Something like that to help them find each other, I think would be a great idea. I would love to see something like that. Uh, if the devs ever want to ask me my thoughts on it, I'd be more than happy to tell them all about it because uh, they'll never watch this video, I can tell you. Uh, Sean Robertson says, the whole dang game. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the whole game was left by the wayside and that's how Sean feels about it. Uh, Herb says, I want the devs to really look at the controller role with all its artifacts and power and reset the, the device as best up on that role. I want to say it does matter what power of the controller role. If, if DPS can get power back, healers and tanks, so why do we need controllers? Now what for debuff that work anyway? This has been bothering me for years, and I would like your opinion on this. Thanks. Keep up the good work. So I think what you're asking here, uh, or what you're saying is you want them to be more than a power battery uh, and that the deb debuffs are just not that important anymore. I, I would have to say that you're probably correct, and unfortunately I don't know that there is ever going to be a way around this. Um, actually, back during advanced mechanics was the point that the controllers started to fall off. Just, just plain and honest to goodness truth, that's when it started to fall off. When advanced mechanics came out, the whole purpose of advanced mechanics, or one of the purposes of advanced mechanics, was to run that one, two, three, four loadout, and people were building their own power back. So at some point in time, trolls were just not needed. Uh, and then, you know, they started working in the, um, oh, what do you call it, weapon mastery. You remember when weapon mastery, you used to have the timing on there where you could hit the power, you get the big bing, and that would signal that you did more, plus you saved some power and stuff like that. So rolls began doing that kind of thing. And so, yeah, that's the point when trolls kind of started to fall off the wagon. And I guess I see that. Uh, I can understand why people would want to do that. I just don't know how they fix it at this point because thanks to advanced mechanics, 
uh, the ability to get your own power back or conserve your own power became very important to the community. And so when they did stats revamp, that was kind of built in there. Uh, that's the reason why we have, you know, the cyborg ally. Uh, that's the reason why some artifacts work towards power back. Uh, and so, you know, unfortunately, I don't know how they fix it at this point. It would be nice if they made those debuffs maybe a little bit stronger or they gave them their gave them back their ability to control the battlefield. I mean, they used to be able to stun, pull, shift adds. I mean, it would take some rework on powers to make it work to where the tanks are not constantly aggravated. But I, I do think that they could do something like that, make the controllers the controller of the battlefield, not just a power battery for what little power battery they're used for uh, nowadays. Uh, Mark Armstrong says, man, the outdated systems. We could talk for weeks about this. That's possible. Uh, I'll start with an R&D crafting rework or just how they do augments in general could go a long way. And I think it would be viable because it really needs to be minimized in parts and plans, uh, not expanded. Uh, just too many plans and episode-specific catalysts uh, for things that never get used or just require uh, so many casts that it takes up so much of my inventory. And then they keep doing this with every episode. Yes, they add to this thing every episode. And it's not even... It's nothing new. It's all the same thing. You're just raising the level of everything. Seems like a waste of dev time to keep it up at this point when it could be so much easier with less parts. But as far as what I think should be priority, my vote would always be for upgrading the weapon combat and moving in every one of these, uh, moving and movement in every one of these discussions. Uh, I just think as far as non-monetization efforts, uh, this is where the dev should put resources and focus to see the most improvement in player base and overall quality of gameplay. Legends PvE is kind of something I laugh at because there's a bunch of feats I'd love to get, but I'm not spending money to buy the Legends required to do so. I thought they really missed an opportunity to overhaul Legends when they uh, didn't tie in the ally systems with them. Yeah, that, that probably would be interesting to tie in. Uh, instead, they uh, gave us content-specific versions like Batman Who Laughs or Flashpoint Aquaman and Flashpoint Batman, etc. I just really thought they should have made ally versions of current Legends in-game before they did the episode versions. Uh, then people, myself included, would have considered uh, buying the Legends allies uh, if that's how they were obtainable. Imagine a St. Walker ally. I would take one. Or Killo or the other really cool Legends, but they didn't. Uh, I'll leave it at those for now. Thanks, Dax. Sorry for my long rants. Have a good one. Yeah, it's all right. I like long rants because I like to read a lot of different opinions on that. Uh, Russell Lee says, Stat clamping. Uh, I haven't ran older content nowhere near as much. I did before the game. Many other players I've played with over the years can't help uh, but see the correlation. Yeah, I still don't think we lost as many two stat clamping as a lot of people think, but I do know that it's it, it did bother a lot of people and it did run off a lot of people. Uh, unfortunately, and I just you know I'm not going to keep beating the dead horse on that. Unfortunately for a lot of folks, DCUO just followed what a lot of other very big and successful MMOs have done uh, and made it to where low levels uh, have people to run with in that content. They put a good reward out there. They clamp the people so that you're not making the content trivial and giving those low-level people somebody to run with and level themselves up. Uh, basically, to remove the stat clamp at this point kills the bottom end of your game, and you might as well at that point just set a timer uh, when DCUO would expire uh, because I think that would probably uh, be the end of it. Uh, Kratos said, I would say a combo of League Halls and PvP League Halls uh, because they don't really uh, touch anything with it anymore. Uh, we got two League Hall variants, Moon and Underwater. Wish we had more, and I'd love to see a League Hall daily mission that gives special rewards, uh, which they were going to do that before it was scrapped in PvP. It would be great to have a rework. I know it's a dead part of the game, but if they revive it and fix it up, it would bring a ton of DCUO PvP veteran, veterans back. Uh, nerf powers that need a nerf and balance every power so that it is somewhat equal. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack there. Uh, I do think League Halls need something to do. Uh, more variants would be great, but that won't really help you if the League Hall doesn't have any purpose. Uh, because I'm going to be honest, I don't know the last time I went to my League Hall. I don't even remember to go turn on the buffs sometimes. So, you know, I don't know. If you don't have content to get people in there, I don't think it's really going to, to, to help people remember that they even have them. Uh, PvP would definitely be great to have a rework. I think it needs a rework. It would be nice to make it somewhat useful uh, to players, give them another avenue of progression, something to do when they're bored. Like, I'm bored right now, and if I liked PvP, I would be working on feats. But I don't like PvP, so I'm not doing it. Uh, and, of course, let's see, said uh, nerf powers that need a nerf and balance every power so it's somewhat equal. Um, 
I don't really know that any powers need a nerf. I think some powers need buffing. That would be my opinion of it. Uh, but, you know, to balance every power so that it's somewhat equal, you, you can balance to a degree. We got close with stats revamp. We got close. But it didn't stay very long because about the time they got it playable, out came the artifacts and it screwed everything up. I just don't see it ever getting a whole lot better from here. Uh, I think I think we've seen the last of the big development on the game. I think right now uh, they're just looking at keeping the game running, uh, keeping you know trying to squash what bugs they can squash or will take the time to squash. Let's just be honest. Uh, and making sure they put out some content and then put out the stuff that people are buying. That's what they're really interested in doing. Proton Mail says, a complete overhaul is needed. I don't know if it's so much an overhaul is needed, but it does need some work. Uh, Ultraman 52 DC Universe Online says, rework PVE, balance the powers, precision and might are night and day from each other. I, I've seen some people that can run might and keep up with the percent, you know, with the prec, but it's not easy. Precision is just so much easier to do. Uh, they'll never rework PvP. I agree because it makes no money. Uh, PvE is the main part of the game. That's what they need to focus on. Fix all the bugs and those issues first. Yeah, I don't think they're going to fix all the bugs either. I, I just don't think they're interested. I, it doesn't make any money. Uh, people suffer through the bugs to get through to the in-game content, which has always kept running fairly well. Uh, Omega NZ says, I had to go other. It's been the whole game. I, I get this won't happen while DI and Daybreak hold the reins, but it's nice to dream. Imagine a DC-based uh, MMO on Unreal 5. Yeah, I don't think you'll ever get it, though. And really, here's the thing I keep thinking. I know a lot of people want graphics upgrade. I, just, I did a poll just a couple, two, three weeks ago at this point, uh, and the majority of people said out of all the options that I posted that they would rather have a graphics rework. But if you think about it, if yeah, you know, they put DCU, let's just say they made DCU 2, put it in Unreal 5, and we still ha had all these other issues, would people still be, would people really be that much happier just because the characters look better? You know, that's kind of the question I've got. You know, I, I know I would love to, I would love to see DCU in Unreal 5. I mean, I would love some realistic looking graphics, but would it make the game better? I would still be mad at the monetization. I would still be mad at the bugs that go on. I would still be aggravated in the fact that the content, you know, things like what we're talking about here, like PvP, Legends PvE, League Hall, stuff like that, that all that stuff has just been dumped, and it's not really good. The crafting system is not... Uh, it's not something that you enjoy doing. It's just something you have to do every episode and you're doing the same thing over and over again, just with higher numbers. And literally, that's all there is to it. And so, all those other things would make it would make for a really beautiful game that is super duper shallow in the end. Uh, Zero Shinkai says, "Remember that time when we didn't have the stat clamp?" I do. Uh, I don't uh, particularly think greatly of that time. I just kind of wish with the stat clamp they'd have gone ahead and just made it an option. I think that would have saved like 99.9% .9 of the issues. Just make it optional, and then if you want to go in clamped, you go in clamped and you get the extra rewards. And if you just want to blow through just to make yourself feel super powerful, or if you want to go through and knock off a feed or something like that, you can go do that. And that's that's I really the wish I that's the way I wish they would have done it. PG90 says, let's be honest about Legends PVE. The only reason they made it was to counter Marvel Hero, Heroes Omega coming to PlayStation. Uh, it sounded like a good idea, but PvP loadouts just didn't work in PVE content. That's very true. The the PVE loadouts or the PvP loadouts did not work in PVE content. In fact, there was a point where they did some adjusting to Legends PVE and it became so hard to run through it because you don't have any healing, you don't have real controller abilities or anything. You're just working with attacks and it just it didn't feel good to play it. Uh, and so, yeah, that's, you know, they would really, if they wanted to do Legends PvE, they would have to really overhaul it uh, to make it either where you still felt very powerful running through with the Legends characters, or they could, you know, or, or they'd have to change up the powers that you're using, uh, just to be frank, and I don't think they'd ever touch that. Uh, so, so Dakaru says, Sudoruku, I think it's Sudoruku. Uh, League halls need new areas and a reason to actually go there. Absolutely agree. Something to do, some reason to show up in your league hall besides turning on your buffs when you remember them, if you're me. 
Uh, Joseph says, other, undo the stack clamp. Uh, it's never going to happen. As I have a lot of old content I've never run, uh, I don't do much crafting. I rarely visit the league halls. I don't play uh, Legends PvE. I'd rather I would play PvP if they fixed it and it brought it back. Um, yeah, the stack clamp's never going to be undone. I mean, it's it's never going to happen at this point uh, because if they undid it, I think it'd kill the bottom end of the game and you just might as well forget it. You're not going to have new players that are going to come in and grind their way when they only have X amount of content that they can do in the course of a week. Nobody's going to come in and grind their way all the way to top level anymore. Or either that or you'll have them giving out these uh, skip to 333 or whatever uh, things over and over again. People will be, be complaining that the folks at the, that's now at the top of this content don't know what they're doing. They don't have any skill points or anything like that. Well, it's because they don't have anybody to run with uh, in the low-level content. They can't grind and level up. Solace says, uh, PvP, I think not having proper PvP hurts the game a lot. Uh, in many game PvP tends to be the play style that keeps people playing after they complete the PvE content. Of course, the PvP aspect of the game has been neglected for so long that fixing it would be akin to designing a new game. Uh, so I don't really expect any changes, but one can hope. Uh, yeah, one can hope. I, they won't touch it because there's no money in it. But if they figured out a way to monetize it, uh, maybe they would come back and have a look. Uh, Charles Questor says, to me, this isn't even close. League halls have been left by the wayside the devs, by the devs and players. Yeah, I mean, because there's no reason to go there for a player uh, and the devs, I guess, ran out of ideas. That's the only thing I can think. I doubt anyone goes into their league hall anymore. It's it's not often. The last reason to really go would be to test loadouts on three target or eight target groups. Yeah, I do that from time to time. But usually when I'm on live servers, I already know what I'm going to run. Uh, House of Legends has that now. Uh, so what reason to, does anyone have to go there? Well, to do it without anybody bothering your, your targets. Uh, maybe the league banks, maybe, and to purchase league buffs. Uh, crafting, you still have the highest level base mods and maybe some buff soders. Uh, Legends PvE, at least they run some weekly bonus for it every once in a while. PvP isn't forgotten, but it's not going to be updated. Uh, but at least players still dual scrimmage and run arenas, at least I assume. I, you know, I'm telling you, I don't know how long it would take if I queued in to run anything other than a one on one PvP match. Uh, the last thing I heard about the league halls, but they added different places to warp, uh, and the warp pads are still useless. Uh, you have to use your character warp menu to get anywhere worthwhile. Yeah, they kind of they brought out those teleporters, and now your menu, your your uh, just your basic menu warp menu is where you go to go anywhere you want to go. Uh, Greg Artman says uh, all need revamp. I can agree with that. Uh, PvP is so broken it needs balancing. Legends PvP is so weak your characters is so weak your characters feel stronger. Uh, crafting uh, to find an item in a huge list you can't filter. Yeah, that's another reason they need to really break that down. Uh, league halls are just dumping ground for uh, not wanted base items or storage for base items and banks because your character needs space. I feel all these need attention as they either need to be reworked so players can skill point hunt in both Legends and PvP, Reg PvP. Uh, crafting just needs an overhaul and league halls should be looked at uh, for big leagues and small leagues as prestige is slow to get but expensive to use i think that's more now than ever just because leagues are so small if the leagues were the size they used to be when league halls came out that really didn't seem that bad but when you've got a lot of leagues with just two or three or four people in them yeah i mean it's going to be hard uh to to build up the kind of prestige you need uh, to be able to feed that to pay your, your your league hall rent, I guess is what I should call it. Uh, Coach V says, Legends PvP is such a waste. The only reason people even do it is for the feats. I think you mean PvE, but yes, it is such a waste. All of it, uh, PvP, this is Dan, all of it, PvP is a joke. Legends PvE is the worst. Crafting is awful and pointless. Yeah, it's not pointless. There's a reason to do it. It's just there's nothing rewarding about it. You're just raising the numbers every episode. That's literally all you're doing. Regathering, you're doing the same thing. Regathering the same thing over and over again. Instead of gathering up all the stuff and crafting your armor uh, every episode, we are going and running for the marks, getting our armor, and then you... You know, you just basically go and put all the pieces around it, your augments and stuff like that. It's just, there's just not a whole lot to it. There really isn't when it comes to crafting. Uh, and the power and movement balancing is, and movement balance is terrible. Yeah, I mean, basically, if you don't run as super speed, you're, you know, you're a loser, I guess, is the way people look at it. 
Uh, I've always been flight. I'm going to remain flight. I have no intention of changing. I guess I'll just be uh, like a lot of you guys out there and just not running the metal way because I don't care to change up the fun of the game uh, just to be better than everybody else. So uh, just a quick recap here uh, as far as what you thought you'd like to see reworked the most. Legends PvE, 18%. Crafting, 10%. League Halls, that's the one I would like to see at 18%. PvP, 42%, and other 11%. And guys, that was your community poll question for the week. Uh, just a quick reminder, uh, make sure uh, Tuesday morning, 10 o'clock, when this should go live, uh, 10 o'clock Central, uh, the next poll coming up. Uh, and basically going to ask whether or not you intend to buy any of these booster bundles uh, because of the styles. And so guys, with that, that's all I got for you today. I appreciate you watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Guys, thanks for watching to the end of this video. And if you liked what you saw, head down, leave me a like and a comment. If you haven't subscribed already, that option should be available on the screen, along with a couple of options if you want to see any more of my content. You can also follow me on Twitter at Dak underscore Mangamer if you want to connect with me there. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you in the next video.